Hello, Julie here and thanks for joining me here today. I'm going to finish off my journal today that I'm giving away for my 2000 subscriber giveaway and um, it's a pretty short video because I've done most of the work in another video I created the cluster that's going on the front of this journal. I'll put a link to that in the description box if you want to have a look at that. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I've got these um, corners, these metal corners, and I got these from BB Craft, and I'm going to use some of those on here. So I've selected the ones I want to use. I'm just going to check that they're going to go on there. Okay. Let's have a look and see if we like them on there. So that's what they look like and I plan on using some lace on here. I'll bring that over the back like that. So what do you think? Does that look like? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to glue these on. And I'm going to use my art uh, glitter glue. You could use um, hot hot glue and um, hot glue gun if you wanted to. Um, you'd use Fabri Tac too if you wanted to, I guess. So I'm just going to use this. It doesn't have to actually do any work, so I'm pretty sure it will sit on there nicely. I'm going to push that down there as far as I can. Try and get the corners to line up with the edges properly. And then I'm going to use this and push those edges down so that they make good contact with the cover. Okay, now we'll do the same for this one. I don't know whether you're supposed to glue them down or whether they're just supposed to grab on their own, but I'm going to glue mine just to be on the safe side. I don't want them to come off. I'm pushing those on firmly. And now I'm going to... those down so that they grab onto the cover. They're fairly um, soft, it's not that hard to push them down. You could probably do it with a ruler or you could even probably use pliers or something like that. You can see, it would probably be better to use pliers because you can see I've actually put some dents in that. Okay, so they're on the front. <clears throat> now I'll do the back. I'll just wipe this glue off my hands. I don't want to get that all over the place. over the bulk of the because this 
this is an old book that um, I've adapted or I've used here so that cover is really quite thick if you're making your own covers it, it's probably not going to be anywhere near as thick as that okay so some glue yeah so this was a hard covered book before I pulled it apart and uh, created this journal I've got a series where I show all of the videos that I've created while I've been creating this journal so if you're interested in seeing that I will put a link to that in the description box below I'm just going to grab my pliers to push that down so I've got a couple of pairs I'll try this one first so yes that's better make sure that's on there as firmly as possible and then push that down Okay, now the last one here. It fits on perfect. So some glue. This is the first time I've used um, a set of these, so learning curve for both of us, but they're pretty straightforward really. I, th I don't think you'd have any problem using them if you haven't used them before but push that on try and get your edges as neat as you can and use your pliers and close them over so that they grip into your cover slightly happy with them actually very nice now as I said I plan on using this because I want to cover up my spine and I'm going to just lay that on there like that and I've got a dangle that I'm going to hang from there so I'm going to Some glue all around here and on top of my spine cords my binding whatever you like to call it I want to get it fairly close to the edges I don't want to be skimpy with the glue to lay that over there I'm not going to stretch it I don't want it stretched I don't want it under any pressure this piece of lace was the, this is just exactly how it was when I got it out of the cupboard so I haven't cut this or anything so I think it was meant to be I'm going to cut 
this. I haven't decided yet whether to trim these down or let them overhang the top and the bottom like they are. So I just want to give this a few minutes to set to dry. So while that's drying a bit, I'm going to decide whether I want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to cut that off. I know that the idea of a junk journal is that it's supposed to be messy, but... Uh, messy is messy. And I'm afraid that my messy doesn't allow me to go that far. So whoever wins this um, journal, if you would have liked the edges to hang over, I'm sorry, <laughs> but they're gone now. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue along here. I'm going to put this glue onto my lace. I'm not actually sure where I got this lace from. Or it, could, uh, it could be part of a table runner or something I'm not exactly sure what it is um I may have got it in happy mail I may have uh, bought a runner at the op shop or something and cut it up but I can't remember using it for anything else actually that's going to be a pain to do all of that so I think I'm going to put that up there down and then I'm going to once again put the glue onto the cover. Whoops, Daisy, I don't want any out there. being art glitter glue it does dry clear and it does have a good grip so To let that dry a little. So to let that dry I'm going to turn it over on top of it. Okay that will give it a little bit of weight and a bit of pressure so hopefully that will dry. Now as I said the art glitter glue doesn't take long to dry so hopefully will be ready soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry for, I'm, I'm going to leave it to dry for probably 10 minutes just to make sure that it has gripped properly. So I'll stop the video now and I'll come back to you when the 10 minutes is up. Okay so it looks like that's stuck pretty well. I shouldn't be messing around with this because you can bet your boots I'll cut the fabric on the cover probably. Okay, now um, this I made this topper in a previous video and um, after I'd finished it and I'd finished the video I decided I wanted to sew around it so I've added this stitching around the edge and I have also added some um, 
stitching to the body of the butterfly. So now I'm going to position that on there like so. So this is once again is going to be attached to the lace. So I'm going to add some glue. Oh, I'll cut those threads off the back there. There's no point in having them. I've trimmed these up. I don't mind if they stay on there and hang down. As you can see, there's lots of um, lots of threads in here. Whoever wins this is, uh, of course, quite welcome to cut them off if they don't like the threads. Whoever wins it can do whatever they like with it, really, can't they? Once it's theirs, they can do whatever they want. Okay, so put that about there. Oh, I think we're a bit over that way, a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to just put a little bit of pressure on that because I want that to grip nicely as well. So my journal's nearly finished. Um, I started this a long time ago. Uh, with uh, I wasn't in any hurry to to get it finished or anything like that. I just thought I'd start one and and add some bits and pieces to it as I went along and video the process. And uh, yeah, I think that now I'm pretty happy with the way it is and um, ready to give it away. So you can see it's got quite a wide mouth on it now. I probably every journal I make I end up putting way too many pages in it. So now as I said I've got a dangle here to put on the side and um, I've just made this using uh, an assortment of beads. Uh, some of these beads came from uh, I oh, can't remember really where they came from. Some came from the op shop. Uh, you know, I bought a bangle or something and it had beads in it, some of these things here. These I bought, I think, from uh, Spotlight, along with the white ones. Yeah, so just wherever. Now, I've got two options here. I don't know how it's going to go. I've got quite a large jump ring, but I don't know if that is going to reach so I'm going to try that first if this works that would be my preference but if it doesn't well then I'll use a bulb pin okay. you can see the hole there See, I think that hole's too far down for that jump ring. So I think I'm going to have to go to the to the bulb pin. So where did I put that? There we go. So slip that into that. Then I can put that through that and do that up. Plus, I guess, that also makes it removable. So there we have the dangle. Mix nicely, I think, with the colour scheme of the journal. And if we tie that up. Okay, so there she is. 
my journal all ready to give away. So I'll be back with a flip through and a giveaway in the next video. Okay, thanks for being here and um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me put my front cover together. Because of the uh, cluster being so ornate, I didn't really need to do much else to the cover. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty quick process to finish it off when you've got something like this already prepared. Okay, thanks for being here and I'll hope you can join me for my next video. Okay, bye.